Hey everybody, it's the Fero of Time, and welcome back to more Let's Play Super Mario Galaxy. In the last episode, we took on the boss thing in the Honey Hive Galaxy and a few other missions. In this episode, we're going to go ahead and take on the first Bowser Jr. Bowser head thing level majigger over here. So anyway, hope you guys are doing great. Uh, this is my first recording since my little hiatus, and I guess I'll explain a little bit about that while we, um, we play the level. Uh, this is Mega Legs Moon. Uh, anyway, so my break was just basically caused by um, a bunch of things. It started with some family issues, just me and my mom not getting along, I guess. Sort of, but more than that. And then it just got compounded by school issues and, you know, personal life stuff. But I am back, and I am recording, and you know, it, it's good to be back. It feels good. I missed recording. Now, I think, yeah, what we have to do here is get the bullet. Well, not that, obviously. <laughs> All right, we got to get these uh, homing bills to chase us, and if you want the one up, which I guess we'll go ahead and do. We'll just break the, um, okay, that's cool. Just don't give me the thing. Oh, shit, 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 shit. Okay. All right, we're good. I think... I think we're good anyway oh no we steered it <laughs> we steered it the wrong way uh, anyway what you have to do is get these things like to lock on to you and what we want to get it to hit is no fuck you no <laughs> that wasn't it at all that wasn't it at all what you want to do is hit the uh, the thing that's like encapsulating the launch starts right here this that right there was our target and of course it wouldn't be me without missing the target but luckily we got that one up so it did not really matter um i guess just avoid things and have it go over here and then just run around and there you go and launch star time uh, let's go ahead and i think there's gonna be some star bits that fly around here let's go ahead and grab those with the magic oh well we didn't get all of them so here we go, as, uh, as all Bowser Jr. levels will be, he flies up on one of the ships, uh, reminiscent of Super Mario Bros. 3, when he had, when Bowser, his little underlings, have the fast ships, so, it's kind of like a throwback reference, but anyway, Mega Leg is this, um, as we're gonna see, this freaking huge thing with these headlights, and it's like, dude, I wish I had headlights like that on my car. Damn, I would not get lost ever. Although I don't think other drivers would appreciate it very much. Uh, so what you have to do is wait till he steps. You jump on his leg and run up. And I hate running physics in this game so much. But yeah, you just basically want to run up here. Avoid the homing bills. And let's just go ahead and long jump over the gears. It's not really too difficult. I mean, as long as you're not like super like bad at this. Although, if you're me, then, yeah, you know, you might. Anyway, so jump up here, and first we want to destroy that using the homing bill. Now a bunch of other things pop out, and, oh, a bunch of star bits. Yay. So a bunch of homing bills are going to shoot out, and they're all going to come after me. None of them came after me. What was that? They're all supposed to fly after me. Anyway, so we just wanted to destroy uh, bits and pieces. I think I can actually do this pretty well. Let's go in here, and they probably hit themselves. Freaking dumb pieces of technology with the homing devices that don't work. Come on! There's like five of them flying at me. You'd think at least one... No, don't touch each other! God damn it! No! <laughs> you freaking bastards. Just work with me. Work with me. Yes, you. You in the back. Come here. Come here. Dumb. What? What the hell? That one was inside of it. Oh, and an unlikely turn of events. <laughs> it did it without me even trying. <laughs> oh, that was really unlikely. But anyway, Mega Legs destroyed, and we're going to go ahead and collect our second Grand Star, which is going to increase what we can see in the uh, Comet Observatory. And again, one of my favorite animations where he just, like, freaking slaps it. He's like, bam, booch, this thing's mine. But not really. I really like how he holds it. It's just, I don't know. It's just pretty cool. It's like a spirit bomb from Dragon Ball Z, you know? Holding it above his head like that. And it uh, looks like Mario's one really uh, fly guy. <laughs> uh, I just had to, you know, had to do that. But anyway, so we'll have a little cutscene where it flies into the center. And we've expanded the star power. So I think it's like a level 5 star now. And we've unlocked 
a new dome, which is going to be the fountain. I actually enjoy the fountain. Um, a lot of people, I forget which one it is that a lot of people don't like. I think it's the bedroom or the fountain that a lot of people don't like. But for some reason, I just find the fountain enjoyable. I mean, that's just me, though. But we discovered a new, two new galaxies, and we still have to complete, apparently complete, two of them in here. Anyway, we have a, a cutscene here. The ball of flame represents the power of the observatory. We call it the beacon. <laughs> the beacon? When you recover a grand star, a little star power will be restored and the beacon will grow. The common observatory can use that power to fly through the universe. Once all of the power is restored, we will even be able to fly to the center of the universe. I'm sure the people at the CERN lab would want to fly to the center of the universe. Oh, the power is on and then they're down! And they're going to show it to us for a second time that we can go in the fountain. See, the newly opened dome is called the fountain. It's really quite relaxing. By the way, have you looked at the map? It contains information about galaxies as well as domes. If you forget the location of a dome, I, I don't know how you'd forget the location of a dome. Anyway, we'll go ahead and save our game here. Um, well, I had like a really southern hey accent. <laughs> accent, I don't know why I'm doing that. Because um, I don't normally have an accent, so it's just like... I'm doing it for no reason. No, not really. I mean, I am from the south and all. But let's go ahead, and I think we'll actually do, maybe we'll, we'll like, investigate this fountain. Fountain. It's like uh, Kirby's Dreamland fountain in Super Smash Bros. Melee, the stage. Kirby's Dream, yeah. That was actually, a okay, well, we could just backflip. Anyway, let's go ahead and go here, and the first one we can unlock. Well, we can actually unlock two. So we'll go ahead and do that. So we have a choice. Uh, my perf- uh, well, we have the rolling green- oh god. Or the space junk galaxy. Um, I think we're gonna do the rolling green galaxy, because this introduces something that pisses me off so much. Oh lord. Actually, no. No, no, no. No, no, back. Back, 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 back. We're not gonna do this yet. I have a special, um, okay, so it just kicked us out, whatever. I have something special I want to do that. We'll go ahead and do the Space Junk Galaxy for right now. You'll notice a lot of references in the galaxies to other Nintendo games and old school games. Here, you notice that the ship is Captain Olimar's ship. Now, Polestar Path is the mission. That was just really random. But, anyway, so you'll notice, not now, rather, but, oh, God. I don't like this mission at all. It's really long and tedious. But anyway, so Mario's gonna go ahead and land on this platform right here. And I believe we are going to have to jump. And we have the f addition of pool stars, which are... Uh, they're not too difficult to use, in all honesty. You just jump off and grab them. And if you can do really well with them, then that's by all means a good thing. That was actually pretty decent. And go ahead and drop down here. And it looks like we have to get some chips. Because they need we need salsa. They're not too hard. Some of the whoa the freaking Mario physics almost Got me killed right there. No, what? <sighs> God see look that's what I'm talking about. Uh Oh, uh oh bad situation bad situ- okay good and Watch the Sweet Well, that was just rude. We just broke right through it and there is Captain Olimar's ship and we are actually going to land on it Which is pretty cool um, go ahead, and I guess we can get the coins, although we don't necessarily need the coins. Uh, Alright, what do we need? Oh, yeah, 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 pull stars, right, because this is pull star path, and everything just got really weird. Uh, there we go. It's, it's, you know, you can skip ahead with some of them, like, see, I'm floating off here, I'll just grab the second one, and then I can just rapidly, um, grab them. Anyway, so I think that I want to talk about... No, bad day. I don't know what I want to talk about. Oh, another reason why I was on break is that, um... I don't know who saw my little vlog or blog about it, but... Um, if you didn't, I might put a... Oh, that was cool. I didn't even mean to do that. Wow, so many toads. So many shrooms. We're in the field of shrooms here. Oh, there was a- that was almost a pointless Goomba, but whatever. Oh look, it's the Toad Chip! Toad came to rescue us! I think, yeah, we can grab onto the- okay, well that wasn't exactly what I wanted to do, and there's a Sling Star, and that's actually one of the longest Sling Star jumps you'll find in the game. 
Like, no lie. Now this is really cool, like, the level builds itself around us, and what we have to do is collect these silver stars. Uh, this is another one of those reoccurring kind of things that happen in the game. Uh, it's, it's kind of annoying at points, but it's really not that bad, in all honesty. It's, uh, oh god, oh god, oh Jesus. You don't want to die in this mission. Like, for real, you don't want to die. It's one of, it, cause you have to start like pretty much all over. Oh jeez, sorry, I don't like this. No, me no Rocky, me no Rocky. Um, but yeah, you have to collect five silver stars and then they turn into the power stone pretty much. So we already have four of them. The fifth one's up on this ledge, there it is. And they're like, all right, well with our powers combined, I am Captain Planet. Not really though, I love that show, but no. It is not Captain Planet, it is Captain Power Star, of course. And long jump, and that is another Power Star. I can't believe I actually didn't fail that mission. I've only died once in this recording, so good stuff. Getting better at this game. I know a lot of people are like, oh, you suck at this game. Uh, no, I'm getting better. Just give it time. There are some things I'm really bad at, though, and we'll see in the next episode about that. Anyway... I think this is going to be a good, good stopping point here. Actually, well, yeah. This is going to be a good stopping point for this episode. So until next time, it's been The Fear of Time. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, like, rate, comment, subscribe. I love you guys so much, and I hope you all have a great day. See you guys next time.